and welcome to MIC TV. Um, today we are going to be discussing setting up your customer funnel, how to capture your success as an artist. I'm your host, Greg Ferriolo, along with my partner, TJ Peterson. And if this is your first time joining us, I'd like to welcome you to our community. Um, also, for everyone watching, even those of you that are going to be watching the replays, please say hello in the chat. Let us know your name, where you're from, the genre of music you play, basically anything you want us and our community to know. Again, today we're going to be discussing setting up your customer funnel, how to capture your success as an artist. Now, in our last show, we discussed the importance of a customer funnel. To summarize, a customer funnel helps you attract, engage, and monetize fans. Um, it links everything from your live shows to your online channel so people can easily find all your content. And it distributes content that transforms casual followers into supporters using the process known as the buyer's journey. Now, if you've ever released music online, promoted a live show, or posted music video on YouTube, you know how difficult it can be to get meaningful engagement on the content that surrounds your music career. And when I say meaningful, I mean the sort of engagement that helps you grow your career, such as collecting an email address or selling something. Now, most of the time, artists and bands simply get likes. And if you're just starting out, we recommend when working through channels like social media, focusing on one channel until you really learn how to use it effectively to connect with your audience. Um, but at some point, you're going to need to learn how to use multiple channels to maximize your reach and connect with as large of an audience as possible. Um, also, you're going to need to have a system in place that automates the process of the buyer's journey so that you can capture your success and grow your audience. And again, for those of you that don't know and, or missed one of our previous sessions, the buyer's journey is a process that you'll use to transform your followers into fans and then fans into financial supporters. Now, why does all this matter? Well, if you're not seeing your career grow, there's a reason for that. And most of the co most common reason is that you don't have a system in place to capture potential fans that discover your music. Now, when someone discovers your music, whether that be at a live show or on YouTube or through social media, you need to have a system in place that will direct these people to a destination that you can use to communicate with them on a regular basis. And that means, in our opinion, collecting email addresses. Um, now, when you collect their email address, this gives you the opportunity to create repeat customers. And as an artist, that's what you want and what you need to support your career. I can't tell you the amount of artists that email or DM me and say, hey, check out my brand new song or check out my new EP. And then I go, I click the link and I follow it to watch it. And if it's a song I like, I look to sign up for their mailing list or at least you know, I look to check out more of their music. But 99% of the posts that are sent to me are dead ends, they lead nowhere. Um, and there's no way for me to keep in touch with them. And if I had to search for a way to connect with them, I lose complete interest, just like anybody else online would. Now, that being said, I'm also a business coach that works with, with musicians. And so I'll occasionally take the extra step and I'll find a way to message them. And when I do, I'll, I'll, I'll send them something like, hey, really like your song, do you have a website that I can connect with you on? or you know, is there a mailing list that I can sign up for to follow you on a regular basis? And do you want to guess how many people reply no to that question? Just about all of them. And you know, the problem with this is that all the energy and the money they put into recording and doing their release is completely wasted. Because if you can't connect with your audience and capture your success, what's the point of doing what it is that you're doing other than if it's just a hobby for fun? Now, your goal as an artist isn't your isn't to go out and try to get people to listen to your song one time. Your goal is to immerse people in the experience of your career. And you can't do that unless you have a funnel set up that will capture your capture the attention of your potential fans and that will keep them fixated on your career. Which now brings us again to today's topic which is how to capture your success as an artist. Well, when building your music career you need to first and foremost set up a customer funnel. And there are three key channels that you must have in place to attract your audience and engage with them so that you can capture their contact information or sell them something. And we are gonna walk you through all three of them now. But first I need a sip of water. 
Okay, so the first key channel is your website. Now, your website is the cornerstone of your business. In your customer funnel, it's gonna be where all roads lead. And it's the main place where you're gonna monetize your audience. And when I say monetize, I mean, again, collecting an email address or selling them something. Now, many musicians don't think that having a website is important, and they believe that being on social media is all they need to do. And that is 100% completely wrong. Your website is your private channel where you can have complete control over all the content and, and all the messaging. And it's where you can provide a deeper look into you and your career. And it's absolutely crucial that you have one. Not only when communicating with your audience, but when it comes time to showcasing your brand. Simply put, this is where you can display the story behind your career and present all the sales offerings to your fans in the best light possible with no interference from any sort of algorithm like you'd find on social media. Now, some of the benefits to having a website include the ability to make direct sales to fans where you can keep 100% of your earnings. Um, you can direct the visitors that do come to your site to your other channels to promote them. And you can spotlight your current project or live event. Um, it's also a place where you will have your newsletter sign up, which brings us to the next key channel in your funnel, which is your email sign up and newsletter. Now, capturing emails is one of the most crucial and important activities that you're going to do. This is how you'll grow your fan base, and it's key when transforming your fans into financial supporters. Now, the email signup form is the first step in this transformation process. When building your fan club, we typically recommend coming up with a unique name for the members that join. That way, it makes it more fun for your community, and it's better than simply just saying, hey, sign up for my mailing list. There's nothing wrong with saying that, but if you can make it more fun, again, you're trying to give people an experience. Um, then when someone does join, you can use email automation to automatically generate a welcome letter that introduces you to your new fan and to your community. And it also gives additional background on who you are and encourages them to connect with you through social media. This is important because having true fans engage with your social posts will help your reach on social media and also will encourage other people to do the same. Now, once you have someone on your mailing list, you're going to use their email to drive them to your website whenever possible um, to where they can either purchase merch or sign up for the events or any or view any content that you want to share with them or spotlight. Also, by having their email, you can send them personal private messages, which are crucial, again, in the early stages when building your relationship with your audience. Now, when used effectively, Email will be the most powerful tool in your arsenal, and it makes it an absolute must when building a customer funnel. Now, last but not least, is the final key channel to your customer funnel, which is your social media channels. And when we say social media, this includes everything from Instagram to YouTube to TikTok to Facebook. And social media deals with two parts of the customer funnel. It deals with audience attraction and engagement. And you're going to use your social media channels to attract new potential fans on services like YouTube. Um, and when your primary job during this entire period, um, when attracting fans, is to first get them to follow you on your channel, which I'm sure a lot of you already have some experience dealing with. And this is why when you visit people on YouTube, you'll see things like, please subscribe to my channel and you know click the link below to receive notifications. This is all part of the process of getting people to sign up so you have the opportunity to introduce them to your original music and videos. And if they like your original music, your goal is then to get them again to your website to where you can collect their email. Now, when it comes to engaging with your audience, um, obviously you can't be in front of them 24 seven. So social media allows you to keep in contact with your fans and keep them engaged with your career. That being said, again, every chance you get, you should be sending your followers to your website for a more immersive experience into your career. For example, if you post a lyric from your new song on Instagram, you should then be directing people to your site to where they can read the full lyrics. Or if you on YouTube, you can say something like, if you like this, you know, the song in this video, click the link in the description to stream more of my original songs and then send them to your website to where you have your entire catalog. Now, 
once they're on your site, if they like what they hear, they're going to most likely take a look at your other content, such as your bio and your photo gallery. Um, and this is to gauge whether or not they like you as a person and if they're interested in supporting your career. So it's important that you have all that set up. And if they are interested and are willing to be part of your community, they might even, again, get to the point where they're ready to buy something from you, which at the end of the day, is really what your ultimate goal is. You don't create music just to give it away practically for free on streaming services. You create it so that you can generate an audience and then build an income from it. Okay, so to conclude, if you want to be a successful artist or in a successful band, you need to set up a customer funnel so that it directs potential fans to where you can capture and contact their contact details or make a sale. And the three key channels you want to set up to accomplish this are going to be your website, your newsletter, and your social media channels. And when these things are properly set up, these channels will work together to automate the process of building your fan base and your relationship with your audience so that you can transform followers into fans and fans into supporters. And that concludes the presentation for today. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for expert help with your music career, schedule a call with us today, or you can enroll in one of our free artist development programs. The link for both can be found in the description below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Your support really matters and we appreciate any help that you can give to the work that we do. Have a great day.